There we go. Giant. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. That's a good fish. How's it going, guys? Welcome to another episode of Fashion. Today, I'm going to be using what I consider to be the world's greatest trout fishing lure. This is called the uh, Countdown Elite right here. I have it in the smaller size. It's brook trout color. It's the only one I have, so hopefully I don't lose it. If I do, do lose it, you probably won't be seeing this video. Countdowns are one of the most heavily used jerk baits because they're so good. And uh, I remember seeing this online when Rapala first, or Rapala, however you guys say it. I forget what the correct way is. When they first released this lure, I remember seeing it and uh, I really wanted to get it because it looked so good. Like a better version of Countdown. Like how are you going to pass that up? But uh, the shipping was like $16 because they weren't shipped into the US. But I took a trip to Cabela's the other day and saw them there and I had to pick up a few. I think just the best thing about this lure is it's it's nice and heavy. It's made out of pure balsa wood. So it, you can launch this thing all the way to the other side of the stream. And even if you're fishing small creeks like the one right here, we're going to get into a better water soon. It's uh, You can just cast it so perfectly once you get used to it. It casts almost too far. But once you get the hang of it, it's absolutely perfect and will outfish any other lure. You can just straight retrieve it or twitch it back to you. Both work really good depending on the situation. The only problem with these guys is they're very pricey still. I think this one I got for about $12 at Cabela's. Uh, but uh, as, as long as uh, I uh, do some sketchy stuff to get unsnagged, if I have to, I think we should be good. I definitely don't recommend throwing this at bridges because... Uh, already chipped her up a little there hopefully it's still the action's still working pretty good luckily but yeah guys i'm really excited to fish this creek because there are rainbow trout brook trout brown trout tiger trout and golden rainbow trout also known as palomino trout so hopefully we do really good i've legitimately caught all five types of trout in a single day in this place if you guys are new here make sure to go down below and subscribe i'm posting new videos every sunday at uh, six o'clock a lot of cool trout fishing ventures coming up and other species. And also make sure to go down below and like this video if you enjoy it. And uh, you should be able to catch some good fish today. There we go. First fish of the day. Looking like a wild brown trout. Not the first fish. Caught some other fish that weren't trout. So this is a decent size little wild brown trout here. Give them that. All right, there we go. First fish of the day on that jerk bait. Uh, I didn't get a very. I was gonna try to get a video of him, but uh, on my phone, but uh, he got away. But that's first fish of the day. Let's see if we can get some more. There we go. Another little wild brown trout came out and smoked the jerk bait. Definitely looking for bigger fish than this today, but this lure is perfect for these little wild brown trout. Look at that beautiful colors on that guy. There we go, giant. Get out of there, buddy. Oh, that was so unexpected. Recording, right? Yeah, I'm recording. What a monster. <laughs> came up and smoked it. Big stock brown trout, looks like. Oh my gosh, he came out from under the log and destroyed that jerk bait. Let's go. Gotta get him in the net, though. Oh. That was so sick. I had to keep him out of those logs there. That was really sketchy. Oh. Come on, buddy. Get in here. Let's go. 
That's a tank. Look how fat that fish is, guys. Beautiful giant wild, I mean, not wild brown trout, stocked brown trout right here. He came up and smoked the countdown elite. Let's go over to the other side here, get a better view of him. Hey guys, check out this fish. Very nice size. Stock brown trout right here. Look at that. Slurp that jerk bait. Guys, it's been actually a pretty slow day so far, but I don't think that's the jerk baits fault. I think the fish is summer, so the fishing's not nearly as good this spot. But what a stud brown trout! That was so sick. Came out from under the log over there, came up, smoked it. I had to keep that guy out of the tree. Luckily, he was a stock fish, so a lot of times, stock fish have to roll on the surface. So I just had to keep as long as I kept his head on the top of the water and he couldn't dig down inside the uh, branch, I was good. So I got him out, and that was a really good sized brown trout. Uh, hopefully we can catch some more fish, but <laughs> that was really sick. That's what I came here for. If I was using a different jerk bait, I honestly don't know if I would have caught that fish because this countdown leap does a perfect job of diving right into the log. I forget if I was twitching or not. I don't know, but you can either twitch this lure or just reel it straight. I don't know what I was doing for that one. It tends to go a little deeper when you reel it straight and the fish have an easier time hitting it, but they also can't see it as well. But anyway, that was really cool, guys. Let's see if we can catch another one. There we go, decent fish. He's not too big actually, but he's not big at all actually, but he really smoked it. I thought he was a little, oh, way bigger. He got hooked on the outside of me. He didn't really, he got hooked weirdly. I thought this fish was at least like three times the size when he hit that. But normally there are big fish in this hole, so hopefully we can catch one of the big ones. All right guys, bit of an update. Fishing definitely has been slow so far. But that's kind of be expected this time of year. But I think the move now is to hop back in the car and hop around to spots that I know have been uh, known to uh, hold big fish in the past. And hopefully we can hook into another big fish. I saw someone else's uh, footprints, so that could explain why I'm not doing so good up through here. But hopefully we can hop back in the car. I'm gonna hit a spot by a bridge and then I'm gonna drive further up creek and hopefully we can hook another big one. Got him. Am I recording? Oh, I know he got off. Ah, oh, that was a good rainbow. Ah, well, I wasn't using the jerk bait. I just lost like a 20 inch rainbow trout. There we go, that's a good wild brown trout right there. Alright buddy, get out of there. That's the biggest wild brown trout of the day for sure. There we go guys, decent size wild brown right there. There we go. There we go. Got that rainbow. <laughs> of course I cheated. Put on the other jig. Dang, this guy's fighting hard. 
put on the jig instead of the uh, jerk bait. You're probably asking like, is that, or fashion. <laughs> why is, uh, why'd you put on the jerk bait? I mean, why'd you take off the world's greatest trout fishing lure and put on a different lure? Well, uh, this is a stock trout and sometimes you just gotta switch stuff up for a stock trout. Like they uh, don't always want something that uh, is uh, moving fast, uh, past them too fast. Sometimes they want you to put it right in front of their face, especially if they're pressured. And, uh, come on buddy, that's fighting good. Nice rainbow, we gotta get our net. Forget what else I was saying, but uh, yeah, you guys get the idea. You gotta switch it up for these stock fish. Oh, also, he did go for the jerk, but he just kept missing it. And eventually he stopped chasing it because he saw it too many times and figured there must be something up. Here's a nice, nice rainbow right here. On the trout jig. Get you on hook, buddy. There he is. That's a solid, solid fish right there. Oh, come on, buddy. Chill out. Come on, buddy. Solid, solid fish right there. Beautiful rainbow trout. Sick. There we go, guys. Beautiful, nice rainbow trout in this tiny little pool. It's crazy how this tiny little pool that I caught in and fought really nicely in this little, little water. But I saw him chasing the jerkbait a few times. So I had to throw in a little jig there to catch him. Alright guys, we made it to the next spot. See if we can catch some more good fish. There you go, nice little ground trout. That drag's a little messed up there. Gorgeous little wild brown trout right here. Look how bronze this guy is. Look at the colors in this guy. Gorgeous fish right there. Love when they're dark yellow like that. There's a good fish. Oh, it's a bass. That's why he's fighting so weird. Look at that. <laughs> Best trout lure in the world also works on largemouth. That's cool. Oh, is he even hooked? Is this guy even hooked? Oh, he is hooked. But he T-boned that. Look at that. Super healthy largemouth right there. <laughs> Look at that. T-bone at your plate. One time I actually caught a trout without him even getting hooked because he just T-boned it like that. Look at him, look how fat he is. Get your back, buddy. He's a little cut. First fall fish of the day. I was wondering why I'd catch a fall fish. There he is. Oh no, it was a bass. I thought it was a rainbow. Another largemouth. <laughs> Another fat creek largemouth right there. I wonder where these guys are mostly coming from. It's pretty deep here. There we go. Another fat creek largemouth. Let's get her back. Look how thick that fish is. Sick.
Oh, that's a good one. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good fish right there. I'm gonna drag a little bit. Here's the trout and hook nicely. I don't think he's actually that big, but he smoked it, so I thought he was way bigger, but it looks like a big wild. I thought it was much bigger. Oh, it's a gorgeous wild brown trout. Oh, that's a gorgeous fish right there. Saw him wake on it and smoked it. Look at the colors in this guy. We know that's not a wild. We know it. Let's get a closer look before we determine that. If it's a wild or not. It's looking to me like this fish is. What's up, buddy? deer just ran across the creek there this is a stocked fish you can tell because well it's just a regular pattern you can see that his uh tail is just a little like a little just like it's, it's very hard to describe if you're new to determining if they're stocked or not this looks definitely i mean it's possible it's a wild but the amount of dots in his tail and stuff it looks like this guy oh, come on, buddy, is probably a holdover that's been holding over here for a while. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for today's video. Very successful day. I really do think that's the best trout fishing lure in the world. Best at casting. It, it sinks really quickly to the bottom of the water column for those most more picky fish that don't want to bite. It is pretty expensive, but I think it's worth it as long as you're willing to do some uh, some uh, creek diving and uh, um, snag your lure, or if you have a ton of money, go ahead and buy it. But uh, yeah, lure did really good today. Obviously, I caught the rainbow on a different lure, but like I said, with stockfish, you got to switch out sometimes. But uh, as far as summer trout fishing goes, this spot, it was a really good day. Glad we got that big brown and that rainbow. But guys, as always, make sure to go down below and like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, subscribe for more content like this one. Like I said before at the beginning of the video, new videos every Sunday. I filmed this one Saturday, so I'm going to go home and edit this and uh, post it tomorrow. Hopefully I can get it up in time. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.